these uh, terrorist groups are just hell bent on whatever way they can put together a terrorist act, whether it's mowing down somebody in a vehicle. We talked about yesterday how ISIS is wanting to put C4 in Barbie dolls. Now they're trying to access cargo holds of planes. I mean, they are relentless in their pursuit on terrorizing the infidel. And to me, allowing Iran all that money from Barack Hussein Obama, that that it still is being spent on terrorism and ISIS, Hezbollah, et cetera, et cetera. And we know this very, very clearly. There's going to have to be more sanctions. Uh, be, you're going to have to put more sanctions on uh, on Iran before long because these, these people are out of control. There's just a lot of stuff happening. By the way, Kim Jong-un this hour has warned the United States that uh, he uh, is not very happy with the military exercises going on. He's threatening us, saying that uh, he's going to bring on nuke war and blah, blah, blah. We've been doing these military exercises uh, for decades um, to protect the South from the North. I mean, we've had problems with the North, obviously. This is nothing new. A lot of folks are just saying this is just uh, big rhetoric. Uh, more with Newt Gingrich, ex-Speaker of the House, former Speaker of the House, when you uh, talking about uh, Donald Trump in his speech. Uh, here he is. Uh, let's see. We got him queued up. Oh, yeah. Newt Gingrich. If you liberate American forces from truly stupid rules of engagement, you allow them to apply sound military behavior, you're going to get three or four or five times the effectiveness out of the same number of troops uh, because they have been so crippled by the Obama rules of engagement uh, that it has been pathetic, including uh, finding somebody they knew was a Taliban person they weren't allowed to shoot at uh, because the rules of engagement and the 12 lawyers involved all said, gee, that's wrong. I mean, this is a huge break with the last eight years and will dramatically empower our military to be far more effective. Yeah, they're going to be able to actually do their jobs and not have to put their hands in their pocket. Casualties happen, and I understand where some with the rules of engagement lie, but when you know that they're embedding themselves with children and uh, women and stuff like that, I mean, this is what the enemy does. Uh, but don't, yeah, don't shoot them, but the enemy's right there. Sometimes you have to shoot right there in between, and if you, if, if you, can, you can spare civilians, I don't know, a single soldier, that would want to just shoot an innocent person. But unfortunately, war is, uh, it's just that. It's war. And bad things happen. But our military has been sitting ducks over there. And it's been ridiculous just uh, doing their time and their stint over there, not being able to, and frustrated. There's been movies that have uh, come out of, you know, indie films and, and out of Hollywood uh, Brad Pitt was in a recent movie, just aggravated that they weren't able to do anything. Just this uh, this big uh, parade with politicians running the war and didn't have a single uh, day out in, uh, out in the field, out in the theater themselves, and never joined the military making all these decisions. It's nice to have real people in charge now, ultimately, that... Uh, can 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 roll the, uh, but but you know they give them con- control finally there's a president again that says go ahead and do what you're good at do what you've trained for do what your better judgment would give you you're there i trust you and that's something that these generals have not had these commanders have not had unfortunately and it's gotten us our guys killed and it's no wonder there hasn't been any progress We'll see, God, we've been there for how how long? The strategy has to change. And what is the definition of insanity? Come on, folks, you know it. You do the same thing uh, over and over again, repeating itself. That's the definition of insanity. You're going to get the same thing. So Trump knows. And this is more, folks, of the art of the deal. Uh, If it's not working, you try something else. Not working, try something else. That's how the light bulb was derived, folks. See how many times? For every failed attempt, it was one step forward, said Thomas Edison. I mean, that's what he said. Uh, good things, folks. I, I Good things. 
I'm believing for Afghanistan. I think we're going to see some really great results. It's not going to be overnight. Nothing's overnight. Shouldn't be a timetable on there. But I believe we're going to have some serious progress going on, some great victory reports. And our men and women in uniform, I think, are going to make us extremely proud. And we're going to make America safer again Um, for these freaks of nature, these haters of Western civilization that hate us. We're the infidel. We have to rid this cockroach on planet Earth. So they never, ever even want to even begin to think about doing it. It's not going to rid the earth of evil. There's always going to be people conspiring to do bad things. This is not a silver bullet solution. Um, and uh, everybody should should absolutely know that's not a silver bullet uh, solution. Um, people want it. I've wanted it for a long, long time. But I think it's a great step in the right direction. And finally, we've needed this in the worst way. And for the families of 9-11, for all those that have suffered through this, we certainly want some victory. Um, We never, ever want to experience a 9-11 proportionate terrorist attack on our soil ever again. And we have to be vigilant. It's something that uh, W. Bush told us. And I think this is a great way to be just that, vigilant. Keith Allen, For the People, thanks so much for joining us today. Be sure to share with your friends, your neighbors, this show and what it means to you. And if you love the show, please consider supporting the show, won't you? At ForThePeopleShow.com. Keith Allen, For the People, all the best. May God bless.